Hi guys, welcome back. In this week's vlog we're going to be planting up the pots to encourage more bees and butterflies into the garden. So without any further ado, let's start this week's vlog. Hi and welcome back to Chip's Green World. I'm Chip, this is the courtyard, that's good. Flower, that's Gypsy Boy. The work, the jobs. Join us on our adventures. Let's get to work. Right, so these are the two pots we're going to be planting up today. And these are the plants we're going to be putting into the pots. And it looks like the bees have already approved the plant selection. Buzzing around all over the place. Very happy little bees. So these pots are going to be mirror images of each other. Exactly the same plants in each pot. I've got a couple of Achilles, cat mint, four salvias and two Jacob ladders. That said and done, let's get the pots prepared. I'm going to reuse the old compost. So first thing to do is to empty a third into a bucket down to the size of the pot you're planting. We can then start adding some food to the pot and then to the bucket and mixing it thoroughly in, refreshing the compost completely. And another tip to moisten the soil before you start. Right, that's done. Now time to arrange the plants where we want them. A dry one, I think they call it. So Jacob's ladder at the back with the two selvias either side, the Achillea to the front, and the catmint is going to go, um, we'll squeeze it in somewhere. Right, on to planting and the camera angle's not very good here. So let's quickly do the other pot and then we'll start at that end. Right, so first thing to do, take it out of the pot and pop it in. Pushing it firmly to the back of the pot. Then start adding the compost, packing it up the sides, firming it in as you go along. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing the compost out so it meets where the next pot's going to be added. And this only works if the compost is moist, so it builds up to the height of your pot. Then pop your next one in, pushing it in firmly, making sure it's got contact with the soil you just packed in and also that it's firmly pushed up against the wall of the pot. Then start packing it in, building it up, getting ready for the next pot to be added. Right, I think we're ready to try and get the cat mint in. We're going to put the cat mint in the middle. Pushing it in firmly to the compost you just packed in. And then start packing. Filming this is making it quite awkward as the bucket should be where the camera is. So I'm having to cross my arms every time I go to get the compost. So a good tip, make sure you've got the bucket in the right place. Makes planting so much easier and less awkward. And if you think putting all these plants in one pot may be a bit tight, just think of it like student digs for the summer. A secondary stage before going out into the big wide world. Right, that's the other salvia going in. Now to pack it in. Layering the compost up, getting ready to plant the last achelia. The bees are buzzing all around me, wanting to get involved. I'll have to be patient. Right, we're nearly there now. Time to pop the last one at the centre front. And then start packing in either side. Firming it in. Watching out for the bees as their little daredevils look. You can't wait until I've finished. The busy little bee. And that's it. I think we're done with this one. We just got to do a bit of packing at the back just to make sure all the compost levels are at the right height. Making sure everything's nicely bedded in. And the last step to do a bit of untangling. The cat mint looks like it's got all its legs and arms stuck in the air. So let's make it a bit more comfortable. 
rearranging to make it look like these all naturally grew together. And there you go, that looks so much better. So that's the first one down. So let's move on to the one that we prepared earlier and we'll quickly go through that one. And while we're going through this one, I'll tell you a little story. Me and Gypsy Boy were in the garden and Gypsy Boy turned to me and said, why do the flowers lose their petals and die? I said, because the petals have done their job and they've been pollinated by the bees. He said, what would happen if they weren't pollinated? I said, the garden would be full of flowers. He gasped and said, you naughty little bees. Then he toddled off, put pen to paper and wrote a poem. And here's Gypsy Boy to read it to you. Hope you enjoy. Bees beguiled with their effortless charm, these clumsy balls of bumbling fluff. Nuggets of colour with red and white tails, devoid of feathers. They seek no payment for their kindly deeds. Bombus bees do their waggle dance to show the whereabouts of nectar food. Their smelly footprints tell others this flower is stripped of powdery pollen. Some are communal and some are solitary. Mining bees mine with no helmets or shovels. Mason bees build their nests with masonry knowledge. Honey bees buzzing with frantic activity in their quest to fill chambers with gold. Four winged pollinators, a gift from nature. Bombus, Bombus bees. So there we go. The pots all filled with butterfly and bee friendly flowers. There was some butterflies on earlier, but I didn't manage to catch it on film. And not only did they get special pots potted up for them, they get a little poem from Gypsy Boy too. The lucky little bees. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog. And I hope you'll subscribe and join us next week. Have a great week guys. Bye now.